Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Uncle Lander, and this is Gran Turismo 2 PAL Simulation Mode GT Mode playthrough. On the last episode, we have managed to beat every single race of the Sunday Cup, and today, on this episode, we are going to move towards the Clubman races, which are gonna be a little bit more challenging, and they're gonna provide us with a little bit different tracks as well. The first race that we have up here is Rome Short Course that doesn't have any requirements. Let's go. The only requirements that we're gonna have over here is just a little bit of patience because every single car on the first sharp corner is gonna just pile into us. As we can see on our left side, there's a Lotus Europa, which is a car that I would love to get rather early. Right behind us is Lotus Elise, which is probably the biggest danger in this race. And now there's a sharp turn over here in which every single of these cars is going to pile right into us. The Lotus Elan from the 70s is right in front of us. He managed to slide through us, but we will manage to catch it right before he's going to be able to make the next turn, at least I believe so. This Lotus Elan, despite the fact that it's a pretty damn old car, it's still pretty light. Definitely much lighter than us. And just like that, we took the first place, and now the two most dangerous cars in the entire race is Lotus Europa and Lotus Elite. With a time of 1 minute and 10, 178, we are entering the second lap of the race. It would be very healthy if we could have as much space as possible from the cars behind us. I don't think we'll manage to do that, though. And we got... Ah, uh, that... That little Zelis just totally piled us into the corner. But we are managing to catch catch up to it. I hate that corner over here, over there. It's... It's not good. And I say, show the same courtesy. Find them into the wall a little bit yourself as well. And like that, we have finished the first race of the Clubman Cup. With Lotus Europa actually finishing as the second, Lotus Elise got what it freaking deserves and finishes at third. Rover Mini Cooper 13i on the fourth, Fiat Barchetta on the fifth, and Lotus Elan S2 from 64 is on sixth place. Sadly, for the Clubman Cup, we are also not going to receive any additional rewards besides getting money. And with 18,000 credits, we are going to move on towards the second race. Which is going to happen, if I recall correctly, it is the one that's going to happen at Grindwald. And I can already see Lancia Delta, Mercedes SLK, Honda S2000, a Jaguar all the way in the front, and also a Peugeot. I'm gonna assume that's Peugeot 4 or 6, but I could be wrong.
just like that, we managed to pass all the cars over here, and we are currently retaining our first place. I really enjoy driving the Lotus Europa throughout this entire track over here on the license test. It's, it was a really, really fun, really fun race to drive, really fun license to complete. A little bit of understeering, but nothing too critical. Still retain the first place, and we got definitely some leadership with the cars behind, but we can definitely hear them. They're definitely pretty close by. It seems like Mercedes SLK, if I or CLK, it's currently on the second place. And he definitely gets a little bit of power from us, a little bit more speed, but he immediately slows down, even though it's not really that necessary over here, which gives us a significant advantage. leading corner and now from here it just path right to the finish line to finish the second race of the Clubman Cup with 1 minute 30 and 851 Mercedes CLK is on the second, Jigor XJ on the third, on the Hess 2000, which should clearly win, is on the fourth place, Peugeot 406 on the fifth, and Lancia Delta HF on the sixth place. With a reward of 6,000 credits, we currently have 24,000 credits. And that also means we can go for the third race on the Rome full course. But I highly recommend for everybody, it doesn't matter if you're a new or old player, um, the final race of the Clubman Cup has definitely some significantly stronger cars. So for the money that you currently have, you can do two things. You can either buy a car that's basically a little bit stronger than your current car, or you can invest in the car that you currently own, upgrade it as much as you can, and then try to go for the Rome City course and try to beat the cars that are over there, because these guys are a little bit more challenging. This is actually a first real test of your abilities. And honestly, I rather spend the money that I currently have on upgrading my current Mazda, which is gonna, which I'm gonna do exactly right now. So, the first thing that I recommend uh, tuning is going for the drivetrain, not going really for the gearbox. Uh, get everything that you can that can increase your acceleration. The first thing we're gonna go is flywheel. Then we're gonna buy the propeller shaft. Um, I also recommend getting the uh, better clutch. It's 4,000, but it's gonna be worth it. Um, the other must-have upgrade, a uh, one that I should probably do ver at the very first place, is getting the super soft tires. But of course, I didn't do that because I'm a dummy. So if you do if you cannot buy the tires, 
<laughs> I am a dummy. I'm, I'm probably gonna pay for that. Buy yourself a weight reduction, if you cannot afford that. And... I'm gonna increase the power of my car a little bit. And I could do this with the professional muffler. We also need to remember that this car, we only can maximally tune it up to 246. We are, we are creating this car specifically for 246 brake horsepower races. I also think that with the remaining car that I have, I could invest my money into the brakes. Into the basic brake kit. And with that, Assuming that I'm not gonna derp anymore, <laughs> we can go for the Clubman Cup with the ROM City Course. Let's go. Let's see if we can actually beat this without having a, a <laughs> super soft tires. I should really buy those tires first. Because having more grip is always gonna pay off much more at the start of the races than having more power. Well, if we're gonna fail, we're gonna spend more time on getting more money and finally getting those tires. That means longer episode. And we got... Actually, we got, like, the worst car that we can change ourselves against in this race it's a TVR Chimera I think it's 4.5 which is much lighter and much more powerful than we are He's right behind us too. And he's ready to overtake as well. Oh no! He's right there. He's right. He's ready to just absolutely destroy me. I did not want to let him to do that. I actually kind of did because I just smashed into the barrier. I was watching too much on my behind. And that's exactly what I get for not paying good attention to the track and not buying the appropriate tires for the race. Oh, he's right there. I'm go I hate this car. I hate how close he is to me. It makes me panic. It makes me nervous. Go little rotary two engine. You can do this. And the moral from this race, there's actually two morals, two lessons from this race. Do as I say, not as I do. And upgrading your car actually works. 
with me in the first place, Jaguar X8, actually on the second place, BMW 840 at third, Tivera Chimera 4.5, actually lower down to fourth position, Glanchadetta HF Collezione on the fifth, and the Audi S S4 on the sixth. Still first, despite the fact that I have made a severe um, lack of judgment when it comes to the amount of money that I needed, but we still won. The next modification for the little Mazda RX-7 that I'm gonna do is gonna be definitely a different set of tires. <laughs> because I'm probably gonna use this car for more than one 246 uh, brake horsepower limit race. Maybe, maybe not, we're gonna see. We're actually gonna see what, what, what we have available next. And I think right ne uh, the next thing on the list over here, we might actually go for the second page of the races. We might leave the first page of this for much, much later. We're gonna probably move towards the second page, try to do the lightweight K-Cup and the Global Compact. We're gonna move through uh, through the championships. Maybe we're gonna touch the historic car, car, cap, car cup as well. I'm gonna pick up the appropriate races whenever it's gonna be a possibility. For now, ladies and gentlemen, people of Twitch, we're gonna still continue on with the stream. We, got, we are day 14. But people of YouTube, this is going to be the end of this episode in which we beat the entire Clubman Cup. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing, ring the bell, stop the like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. All links for all my socials can be found down below in the description or in the pinned comment down below. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys on the next one.